Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darren Evans and this is BD Performance. Ben's joining me in just a minute to do all the technical bits on this uh, little Fiesta ST200. Based on the ST180 originally, this Mark 7 of 7.5 came out in a little bit of a limited edition, which was called the 200. Um, it came in this particular colour, nice colour in my opinion, really enjoy it. We haven't done much with the Mark 7 at all in any of the videos, so we thought we'd change that. We've got the opportunity to fit a uh, customer's own downpipe. Now, I'm not sure what brand it is, but I'm sure they'll show you at some point. But Ben's going to talk you through the process of installing uh, a upgraded downpipe on this particular ST. It's not exactly probably the easiest thing to do, so we thought it'd be a nice little idea to let you know just what's involved and hopefully if you're looking at having a go yourself, you can decide either to do it and commit to it or to ring someone and get them to do it for you, which is probably the easiest way. I know Ben really, really enjoys doing these. But if you haven't already, then please, if you're new to the channel, then con consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon to stay notified and give this video a like. If you've got any questions, comment down below and Ben will try his best to answer them. Because let's face it, I'm not going to be able to answer anything about these ST180s because I haven't done anything much on them. So please direct all your comments to Ben and he'll be happy to answer them one by one. Enjoy the video and hope you enjoy these sorts of installations. If you want to see more of this, then let us know in the comments down below but for now I'll leave you with Ben. Ben it's over to you. Right to get to the downpipe we need to make quite a lot of room um, so I'm going to take the induction kit and everything off so I can get down onto the turbo but to get access for that unbelievably don't know why they did it I've got to take the headlights out to get to the fixings for the scuttle panel once them bits are out I'll get the induction kit the crossover pipe and then we'll have some access to the turbo so we can start getting at things like the heat shields, lambda sensors, all that. Um, and then hopefully try and crack off the bolts for the downpipe into the turbo without having any issues, fingers crossed. Just a little tip, um, some people sometimes struggle getting these wipers off the spline, go to the extreme of like getting little wiper arm pullers and all sorts. If you look, there's like a joint here, if you take your hand, just press down on the joint, breaks it straight off. getting these off if you've got a set of plastic trim removal tools use them don't end up slicing your finger it's like a razor blade and I've just cut my finger <clears throat> Underneath the plastic engine sort of dress up cover um, is a couple of fixings for the crossover pipe. Now, I just want to refer to this one because when you're cracking this one off, you want to be really careful because it's got um, a threaded fitting that is essentially, well, bonded into the plastic material of this rocker cover. And when you crack these off, they do have a habit of coming loose and you struggle to put it all back on properly so if you just just watch what you're doing and make sure that that fitting isn't turning with your nut like this one is you need to 
try and get something to stop that um, stop that fitting from turning while you crack the nut off. So the heat shield on the cat um, on the cat itself it fouls or obstructs the bolts for the downpipe. So <clears throat> to get that out you could be sort of forgiven for looking at down there and thinking that you've got to take this manifold heat shield off first before getting the heat shield off the cat but actually if you undo the lambda sensor you can just about get that cover off and that will allow you to get to the downpipe bolts without taking the heat shield off now i know it sort of sounds maybe lazy or whatever trying to leave the heat shield in but you've got to disconnect coolant hoses and all sorts to actually get that heat shield off so you know obviously we're just trying to do whatever we can to well ultimately save the customer some money on fitting charges so. right we've got everything we need off the top end now you can see there <clears throat> we've got open holes so you don't actually need to take all the bolts out completely there's only one you need to fully remove the others you just need to crack them off enough so that this flange here can pop out of the turbo housing and you'll be able to get it off but as far as under here goes we've just got to disconnect it from the catback system take off this um, the mounting bracket and that'll be us ready to pull it out downpipe time um, we're gonna go um, with a new gasket like I would always recommend doing because this gasket does actually reduce in thickness when you when you bolt it on it's I suppose you call it a crush gasket um, which can give you a little leak which will give you some uh, some fault or can give you some fault codes it relating to um, the lambda sensors it might pick up uh, rich fault codes so always put a new one on they're like five quid or something for a genuine one from Ford so it's not even worth skipping anyway regardless of whether you get a fault or not so we're gonna stick this on and we're gonna offer the downpipe up get it all bolted up and then put everything back on and we'll be good to go We can get a suntan off this, feels off like these it. lights. It feels like it. Jesus, man almighty. Were they good for fitting the downpipe? Yeah, they were. They were. they were. they were, to be fair. So at least it was uh, enjoyable fitting the downpipe with some something to see. Yeah, if we could fit some like infrared or halogen lights or something, it'd be nice and warm as well. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just see if we can do that in a future episode, yeah? yeah? yeah. If we get enough subs from this, we might be able to afford... Well, no, actually, let's face it, to eat this place it cost us for Watch this video so we can have some eating. <laughs> yeah. Please, all we want for Christmas is some warmth. But yeah, that was um, 
it was all right, wasn't it? That yeah, really the Voodoo good. downpipe you said fitted really, really well, didn't the it? Downpipe was mega, fitted really well. Probably one of the best I've fitted onto an ST Fiesta, to be fair. Um, all the bolts come out, no problems, nothing seized, nothing snapped. Yeah, it went really well. They looked quite tidy as well, didn't it, to nice. be fair? Yeah, really we haven't nice fitted thing. that much Voodoo stuff. We are going to load it on the website. Um, Nick has made mm. us a Voodoo dealer, so we will get a chance probably next year now by the time we've loaded it up. But they do a load of amazing products, and if we can help you with anything, then give us a shout, Actually, and I we do, can I still think, price it. I think Cal has mentioned that he's going to spend most of his Christmas holiday loading up the stock, actually. Oh, Cal, <laughs> if you see this store. video, mate... <laughs> Thanks a lot. Is that what he said? That is what he said. He if did. He, if he does it in time, we'll put the uh, link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going. This video's going out before yeah, then. It's fine. Then. Yeah, we'll we'll get him to There's do no it. There's no chance, we'll mate. Put, we'll put the link. We'll put the link in ready. Ready, a so dead we'll, site. We'll so ready for check it. Check it over Christmas. The link down below that Cal puts down below to the Voodoo products, and sometime over Christmas it might be live. You never know. But yeah, it's a good bit of kit. Probably had, he hasn't got any other bits. Has he got an exhaust on it? Or? Um, it, ha it has got a cap back. So it's got a cap back yeah. on it. So it's got a full system turbo back now. It's got no front mount intercooler and it's, it's got, got, got a ITG induction combined with a pair on top hose, I see. It was probably a pair on kit anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure where the customer's going with this next. I assume, we can only assume that he's either going to do the front mount intercooler next, or maybe even go for the Collins Performance Stage One Oblique Two software, which doesn't need a front mount intercooler, does it? So whatever way he's going with this, I reckon with the exhaust as a whole, he's probably added 20 horsepower to it. But the map will just bring it together, maybe 30 horsepower with the kind of induction and everything, somewhere circle that. Don't quote us on it. But once he gets a map on it, it'll bring it all together. And don't know what what the Collins quote for stage one stroke two. Neither of us know, I'll but we'll let you know in the comments down mind. below. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, if you haven't already, then and if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe, hit that bell icon to stay notified, and uh, comment down below if you've got any questions, and give the video a like so that you can show YouTube that you actually enjoy these videos. If you do, then please make sure that you do that so that we can raise the kind of awareness of what we're doing in terms of these educational videos and hopefully get a load of people to watch them and make it worthwhile. But we'll see you in the next video, which will be Friday now. Uh, not quite sure what we're doing yet, but it'll probably involve that race box again, I'd imagine, because we've had a load of fun with that and there's more stuff that we can do in there. Ben will probably put you in the driver's seat this time because racing card Lee's going to have to video something. He's finished. Well, Lee, uh, Lee wants someone else that he can beat, does he? Yeah, I think he's finished with... Where was it? What check Formula One drivers was he with this weekend? Oh, I can't remember. The one that he, crashed? He meant, yeah, I think he was his, his, his mentor, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, right. Hey, okay. version of the stick. Yeah, you're right there. As simple as that. Yeah, nobody <laughs> knows who you are, thank God. Yeah. Anyway, like and subscribe. See you all later. Cheers. Bye for now. Done. Bye. Bye.